That's right. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Great Power, for the opportunity to come and address you. The reason I'm standing for council is I want to give the council an, another, at least another three years of, of my dedication and experience. First three years on council is a very big learning curve. You start off knowing almost nothing, and no matter how much you think you know, the council systems and operations are a world of their own. They have their own sets of rules, their own legislation, their own minister, and uh, you've got to march with everyone on council and not try and work, walk in the other direction, because if you do, you get nowhere. So I'll bring to council my first three years of experience. I'll also bring some 30 odd years of legal experience in Tokoraa, where I've got to know lots of families, lots of issues, and just generally a feeling for how the town should develop. I also bring some background from my university days because my first degree at university was in geology and the other one was in chemistry. And I bring to the council an inquisitive science background. I'm able to question and question seriously those people that come to council to give us opinions. For instance, we had a while back the Environment Waikato come to tell us about the smoke in the atmosphere here and why we didn't have to, uh, why we had to close down all our fires and why we had to put air conditioning units in. They came to council but they came without strong scientific information to back up their claims and we haven't seen them since. So that issue for the moment is put to one side and hopefully we will answer it again if they come back wanting to turn our fires off. With respect to general developments in Tokoraa, the town was once 20,000 people, but at that time 5,000 of our residents were housed in hostels. There was Rossyth, which had three or 400 people. There was Glenmore, Hillcrest. These were single men's camps. There were 5,000 people living in those camps, with about 5,000 people working at Kinleaf. The town's have changed since then. We're not gonna go back to those figures. We're not going to provide another 5,000 residents. But we do need to increase our <coughs> housing pool and our rental pool. There are people coming down from Auckland now, buying in Tokoroa, and paying high prices for houses. Probably that will continue, but we need to provide more ground for a fresh subdivision for housing, which is in both infill and brand new type housing. We're it seems to be the fashion these days, if you want to have a new house, you've got to build it to a certain formula, and you can see that type of house as you drive through Cambridge. That type of housing area is what's in demand, it's what people demand to live in, and that's what we need to create here if we want to have a new influx of residents, even young and old. They're all looking for all the comforts in a house, not just a old forest products box on the hill. With respect to our town planning, we do have to be careful to build into... Sorry? The three minutes. Okay, my three minutes is up. Just to build into our town planning facilities for the elderly, of which I'm rapidly entering that class. Thank you.